I'll let you know who uh, wins the overtime uh, between TK and Elevate. Elevate, of course, two up in the series. So this is a pretty important overtime for the boys over at TK. But Uplink Detroit, Gizmo, how much of a fan of Uplink Detroit are you? I'm a huge fan of Uplink. I think this is, it's so funny because when the game comes out, everyone's complaining about Uplink, ban Uplink, it'll never be competitive. And I honestly can't imagine watching it without it now. Um, I think, I don't know how you incorporate it into from, granted it's so early and we don't really know a lot about Black Ops 3 yet, but from what it sounds like, you're gonna have to change it because if there's not gonna be a double jump, I don't know how you're gonna be able to do the dunks. And that's a, a huge, a huge thing about Uplink is making the call between dunking or going for the, smart one point throw depending on your risk reward so i think it's gonna be really really um it's gonna be a big letdown if they don't have it in black ops 3 because i think this game this game mode is it, it, at least in my opinion ben has produced some of the most memorable advanced warfare games oh pretty I, much every tournament I agree. I agree massively i think it's without a doubt been the best game type this year to watch to cast and even at times to play too like i think the players have, have slowly learned to to love it and appreciate just how team how important teamwork really is. If you look at it as a game mode, really it's one of the game modes which require the most team skill because you're basically running around three versus four for the most part because one player is going to be controlling the drone. Uh, it basically connects with a one point play and AR is going to go 1 0 into the lead. Of course, AR also 2 1 up in the series. So the win here gives them the win in the series. But one thing I'm excited for talking Black Ops 3 Gizmo is I expect Treyarch to have their own game type. So much like how, you know, Uplink came in with, with Sledge, I expect to see Treyarch come out with something new. Uh, maybe something old school, which they've revamped, maybe like War, Momentum, that, those kind of games. Because uh, back in like the uh, World of War days, they, they were some of the best game types yeah. the game had to offer. So maybe they revamp some of those old school game types, which I'm completely down with. Uh, maybe they come up with something completely new and different. Either way, I think it's exciting and uh, curious to see what Treyarch do. Or what about, what about headquarters? What's your thought on headquarters? Do you think that could be competitive? <sighs> it's, it's a weird game type. It really yeah. is, because it's kind of like PowerPoint, but it isn't. Um, I think dependent on the game and the pace of the game and the speed, maybe it could work. I'd be interesting to give it a try. Um, it's been weird seeing Call of Duty without headquarters, because I know from my, my pub stomping days, there used to be a lot of like headquarter only kind of clans, teams that just used to love playing HQ only, so. Uh, COD not having HQ has definitely been missed by quite a lot of people I know. Absolutely. Just on board with Octane there, he jumped this one in, so a dunk goes down for him. It's now a 2-2 game, and I prefer to be on AR's side, Yep. just because I think when you slay out of school, you could really rally. And I think yes. that's what I look for on the quote-unquote preferred side in the uplink is which side can you rally? Like on a comeback uplink when you get glass control and then all of a sudden it's like 45 seconds and you've just got six dunks in a row. That's what I always look for, which side you can rally. And I feel like this is the side where if you control out and just slay out of school side, you can just get point after point after point. They haven't done it yet, of course, but you need to get a little bit of control of the middle of the map and then you can start talking about rallies. That, that's the thing I, I love about uplink there, right? Like it could be three and a half minutes where it's, you know, a 2-2 game like it is right now. And in the final 60 seconds, the team could, you know, cap six points, just like that. So if you let your guard down for just a second, you can be penalized massively. And uplink is that uh, Merc actually now has the drone for justice. He heads over towards yellow and somehow managed to stay alive a little bit longer than he maybe should have done. But Moch able to pick up the drone. He's going to run directly at an enemy player. And oh, hits him in the face as well. That was Octane. He just got embarrassed by friend. Moch still with drone control, allowing his teammates to slay. The problem he has by pushing this way is he forces Justice to spawn under the portal, not where he's going to want them to be spawning, uh, but really didn't have much of a choice. However, now Justice with the drone is going to be Octane, and they could sink a one point throw from here. He had a lead blocker. He decided not to go for the one point throw. Now he does, and he gets it in. That's going to be a 3-2 lead. That's a smart play from Octane. That's one of my favorite things you were just talking about, your favorite thing about mm -hmm. uh, Uplink, Ben. I love the kind of chess game inside of the game of having to either get risky and go for the two-point play or play it smart and get the one-point play. There you saw just, uh, just Octane playing it smart and going for the one-point throw. You never turn away points, and this one just 20 seconds left. Uh, the drone is now resetting. It's going to be a tough to score at this point for either side, but Sla Spacely pulls it. He's trying to get into school. He's only got 12 seconds left now. I don't know if he can do anything. He doesn't have enough blockers in front of him. It looks like this one's going to go into the half. A 3 2 lead in, four, in favor of Justice. Spicy stayed alive for a very, very long time there. I was 
extremely confused how he was bamboozling his way through opposition players, but uh, finally he fell, and it's 3-2 game now. As you said, going in the half in favor of the boys over at Justice. And just to update everyone on Pro League results as they stand right now, of course, automatic reload 2-1 up against Justice. Looks, to be honest, like this could go to a game five. I think Justice should be able to uh, control the preferred side a little bit better. Wouldn't be mind blown at all if it does go to a game five. TK versus Elevate. Elevate 2-1 up against Team Caliber. They clutched up in OT and CTF Biolab. And Rise versus Prof currently tied 1-1 in the series. And CTF Biolab as well tied at two flags apiece with just under two minutes to go. So I'll keep you updated with the end of that one. But at the start of the second side, Merc already jumping for joy, but no, not able to get a two-point play. Doesn't matter though. TCM in a position to pick the drone up and it's 5-2 already for Justice. Yeah, and the second time we've seen two go down for this AR squad and I love the pass feature there. Study got, oh, he got hung up on that fire extinguisher. The pass came in. He had the drone, but he got caught there on that map element. Octane tried to pick up the drone, but couldn't and now TCM has it. He's going to jump in. This one's 7-2 and Ben, you hit it on the head when going to this. I think they're going to have a much easier time with his preferred side. For whatever reason, AR just... They just don't have their... Uh, something about their uplink game, it just seems off. And I, I can't put a finger on it exactly, uh, but something's just not working. They haven't... This is certainly not their game mode, to say the least. I mean, they miss easy one-point throws. That decision-making between going for ones and twos is off. Um, so that, that doesn't help, ultimately. And then I think you add the amount of team changes this team has been through as well. Like, your teamwork is going to suffer considerably. Not being able to stay in sync where other teams, you know, who may have made team changes have sort of got that chemistry. I think AR still don't have that. So that that's something that, you know, I mean, that's three reasons right there, I think, really, where it's like, well, it doesn't really surprise me you're not doing the best at the game mode, which probably requires the most teamwork. And in all honesty, it's been that way for a while. You know, when Weets was on the squad, he was notorious for missing one-point throws. It just seems as if AR as a brand have never really been good at uplink in this game. Yeah, I, I don't. I just don't know what it is. You, you, you're, you're on right. I just, it's kind of a shame because this game is so fun and so fun to cast. But maybe the, I don't know. Maybe you just focus on another game type. If you just know it's not yours, another dunk goes through. This time, study now nine two with under three minutes left. This one looks like it's pretty much wrapped up here. Justice absolutely controlling this one so far on the Detroit uplink. Ben, uh, if I'm AR, I'm already leaving and I'm hosting up game number five. If they even have host, I don't know. They don't have host, I'm gonna go in AFK, get myself a a nice Cinco de Mayo beverage and mm. forgetting all about map number four. Uh, Rise just beat Prophecy as well in their map number three. So 2-1 in favor of Rise. Every single game at 8.30 p.m., 2-1. Could all potentially go to that game five. Looking pretty set that Justice versus AR goes that distance. And in that game five scenario, who do you have coming out on top? Considering how the last search and destroy went as well. What's the S and D map? Good question. No idea. Um, <laughs> you know, I think uh, I certainly think that last drift S and D is going to be in their head. Anytime you lose the way they lost on that one on three, and like you said, uh, a little bit salty after the tweet about missing shots, but shots aside, internet's going to be internet. It was it wasn't played correctly. You can't right. put yourself in that position. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Justice. They came out. They went out to a roaring 5-2 lead and then almost blew it. And it really took a study huge clutch to win that one. But um, I'm gonna go with Justice here to, to clutch up and finish this one off. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, minute 22. Of course, the game not over technically, but pretty much is over. <laughs> um, Burns able to pick up a one point throw there, but. How much can you really say about it? I am curious to know the map, though. That is a a good, good point. Um, TCM, by the way, 36 and 25 right now. Yeah, he's playing incredible. Um, Octane slow. If Octane's not slaying out, he's only 17 and 25, and they're still playing pretty well. So they're kind of firing on all cylinders right now. I don't know if that speaks more to their game they're playing right now, or if it speaks more to how much this AR squad just struggles with uplink. But um, when you have a player slaying out, he's going to drop 40 in an uplink. It's going to be tough to beat any team really at that point. Just found out, thanks to uh, Ron, game five will be Biolab. Hmm. 
Does that change uh, anything or no? No, I'm still going with justice. I'm still You're going still? with justice. Okay. Still going with justice. Are you on record with which which way you're going yet? Uh, let me see who is host. <laughs> We're not doing anything like you did on. Nope. I'm just gonna be. Yes, yeah, so that's like that today. I'm a I'm a I'm a play by ear. I'm gonna see who's host. <laughs> I'm when map number five loads up. I'll let you know who's gonna win. Okay. And then after round eleven, if it goes to round eleven, I'll let you know who's gonna win then too. <laughs> anyway, justice. Pick up Detroit uplink rather convincingly, 9-3. to three. For now, guys, heading to a quick commercial break. When we return, game five.